What's good, y'all? It's receiver teacher. Today we're talking how to beat press coverage. All right, so you don't end up getting bench pressed at a camp or in a game uh, like our boy right here. Right, so just a refresher, if you haven't watched the video, five uh, DB techniques, how to beat all of them. We know that press coverage, all right, the DB is at the line of scrimmage. He should kind of get his hands on you to disrupt timing, all right? He wants to keep you at the line of scrimmage for as long as possible. An easy way to tell a DB is about to press you is if his weight is forward, all right? Uh, Josh Norman is bent over, all right? His weight is forward. He's ready to lunge, all right? All right. Also, if a DB has a staggered stance, all right? One foot is up, one foot is back, all right? Maybe he's looking at the quarterback trying to time the, uh, time the snap count. You can tell he's about to press you, all right? And right here, boom, comes with a quick jam, all right? Also, it's important to understand coverages. So if you haven't watched the video, How to Read a Safety Shell, and all my coverage videos, you should know right here from this picture, it's cover one. There's one safety, so you know it's either cover one or cover three. Now, all these guys are blitzing, all right? There's no dropping linebackers, uh, all right? So you know it's not cover three, so it has to be cover one, all right? So these guys are trying to press you at the line and keep you at the line for as long as possible, not allowing you to get open until these guys blitz the quarterback, all right, and get a sack. And understand they have no help to the outside, all right, which we'll get to after. But you want to, you know, give moves to where they have no help, all right. So if you give a one-step jab to the outside, all right, outside release fade right here, he has no help. His safety's not going to get there, all right. So maybe an inside move when he's inside leverage isn't going to do as much. All right, now when it comes to actually beating press, there's really three keys that help you out, all right. So number one. Stay skinny. Do not give the DB your chest, all right? It's too big of a surface if he gets hands-on. And plus, he can grab onto you right here. He can hold you. And then now when you try to give your move, all right, he's holding on, and he can recover, all right? So he's all up in your shit. That's not what you want. You got to stay skinny. Don't give him your chest. And that doesn't count, by the way. All right, so like I just said, don't give him your chest, all right? Dip that front shoulder. You do that by ripping this elbow back, all right? If I rip this elbow back, my body's naturally going to turn. Dip this front shoulder down, all right? Now he can't get my chest, all right? I'm giving him my back, all right? All right, also, when you're facing press, your hands and feet must work together, all right? As you can see right here, he's just moving his feet, and his arms are down, all right? He's not using his arms. Why can the DB use his arms and you're not trying to use your arms, all right? Right here, when he reaches his arm, you should be breaking his elbow right here, all right? This is a great example of your hands and feet working together. This is D-Hop versus Jalen Ramsey, one of the best corners in the league. All right, and watch how he gives this little slide release. All right, right when he shoots his hands, he doesn't just keep his arms down and try to dance around him. All right, he uses his arms, he uses his hands, and violently chops his arm away. All right, and then he gets by him. All right, so your hands and feet have to work together. You know he's going to shoot his hands, so how are you going to counter that? All right, you're almost like a boxer. Mm -mm -mm, boom. All right, so that's step two. Your hands and feet got to work together. Number three, you've got to pair your releases together, all right? So right here, if we look at the left, all right, we're, look, we're looking at Justin Jefferson. It's just a one-step jab, boom, all right, simple. Now, if we look at the right, this is Van Jefferson, double up, all right? You notice how it looks the exact same, all right, one step, all right? They're both, both have one step out, and then right here, he's going to double up and go back to the outside, boom, boom, all right? Pair your releases together. Make everything look the same, all right? So you can do a one-step all right, and then once he starts biting on that one step, all right, hit him with the double up, okay? All right, same thing right here, boom. And then you come back next play, ba-boom. Easy way to pay your release together. You can do a bunch of different releases. That's up to you to figure out what works for you, what feels comfortable, you know, what feels natural to you. All right, how do you do that? You just got to practice, all right? So I'm out here training. Um, you know, just go, boom, one step, boom, and then pair it with the double up. All right, and take videos of yourself. Make sure it looks the same, all right? Make sure you're not doing anything wrong, um, anything different when you go to do a double up, all right? It should look like you're almost doing a crossover in basketball, all right? Boom, boom, all right? That's them ankles, boy. Ah! And the last tip I got for you, all right, is switch up your stance, all right? Because look at this wide-ass stance right here. And you know the DB is about to get hands on you. He's down to the line pressing you, all right? Having a wide stance like this, limits you from being explosive, all right? You know he's about to get hands on, and you know you have to get to a, a position of balance, all right? You got to get your, your feet close to each other, all right? So why start with a wide stance? It takes more time to get to that balanced position, all right? So just bring this back foot up a bit, all right? Because, you know, if you don't, you're not explosive, and now he's got hands all up in your shit, 
almost getting an interception. All right, so um, I hope this helped, though. This was the three keys, and really this one was the fourth um, to beat press. All right, there's no secrets, though. All right, there's no secret release, magic release. It doesn't matter what release you do. All right, press is not about, you know, all oh, the slide release, the, the 360 spin release, the all this shit. All right, the names, you either win inside or you win outside. That's really all it is. All right, and the way to do that, make everything look the same to the DB and uh, just win in, inside or outside. All right, so, again, I hope this helped. If it did, uh, make sure to follow us on all platforms. I receive a teacher. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. And uh, I'll see you next video. Peace.